Hey everybody, Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail. Alright, so we caught the three hoppers that we needed for Big Bread, but we need to figure out what happened to Newton. So, um, I can go up here, or I can go across this bridge and over here. Um, however, actually, let me look where I am. No, I've already been up there. Uh, that's the previous screen, so I need to go over, wander over this way. Now, I am stealthed, so I can flesh things out. It looks pretty much just like it's full of hoppers, um, and, you know, that's fine. But there is this mine shroom over here that we have to be mindful of. Get it? Um, oh, and then so... I don't know what this is, a uh, azure die, if that's like a spider or something that is going to hurt us. So I'm just going to kind of keep walking along, and um, if anything is going to attack us, uh, we'll start combat, obviously. And I have it saved, so I'm not tremendously worried. A lake mushroom, barrel, mine shroom. I wonder if there's something I can harvest, honestly. Oh, initiative just started. Okay, so yeah, these uh, Azura dies are something to fight. Okay. So let's just hit it with cryokinesis. Oh. Sweet mercy. This thing looks really, really dangerous, actually. Uh, okay, so then I'll telekinetic punch it, and it resisted. Well, that's not good in any way. Um, oh, and my reserves are empty on my psionics. How wonderful. Um, I'm going to walk over here and see what happens. Oh, they have cryokinesis. Oh, this isn't going to go well for me. They're using psionics. That's kind of funny. Um, all right. Yeah. This isn't going to be good. All right, so let me just load... Uh, my game because I didn't realize those were enemies I also need to use um, an inhaler to even get reserves back unfortunately I'll never make it and let me just look around and see if I can find this guy and pray that I don't have to actually go across there, because apparently if I do, uh, I'm in very, very bad trouble. So, I'm going to stealth, and I will um, quick save the game right here. And we'll try to figure out like what my best option is for killing one of those psionic guys, but more than one is a disaster. Uh, what is this? Metal scraps. That's fine. We can take that. And um, I guess we'll take these mushrooms. I might as well harvest like as much stuff as I can. Now, this is the guy right here. And so let me just get into range and uh, see if I can just <sighs> hate this. It's so hard to figure out like what is it going to give me the most action points? Because if I start combat, I get very, very little. The only thing I will say is, actually, these guys are probably pretty smart, right? So let me see if my neural overload does more damage. If they're doing psionics, this should work. Okay, I mean, I hit it kind of hard. Okay, so we killed one of them. So that's not horrible. Uh, I have to stand here to just kind of refill my side points from my reserves um, but it left no remains which stinks so I'm going to just save it again we killed one and that can help us later okay there's no way to get to that unless I go the other way and this is where it gets dangerous because there's more than one of these dudes and that's just uh, a horror show
yet. So that's just, I mean, there's just a pack of them. A buddy was telling me on YouTube that I need to get throwing for, like, grenades and stuff like that. Um, my skills right now, my throwing, um, is a big zero, right? But it doesn't mean I can't buy grenades and just start using them. So, I mean, that's an option, but I'm just going to just look around elsewhere first, and there's hoppers. They're actually guarding the way out. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want you to get out of my way. Here we go. All right. Um, I want to look back on the other screen and see if there, there's no way forward except through those uh, more difficult enemies. I even got my, like, metathermics increaser. Um, yeah, I mean, cryokinesis is metathermics, so I have a boost to that. So that's probably the spell I should use the most. I was just checking out if because they use Psy abilities that they were smart enough. Um, I wonder if, like... Honestly, if harvesting these lake mushrooms, if there's any money in doing this. I'm so bad for money that um, it might be interesting. And also, it might be something I can use for consumables. I don't know. Oh, I can also go this way, and I didn't do that. So let's check this way instead. Because the other way is just real bad. And that dude fishing man didn't have any information that he was willing to part with. Maybe I could ask the guard um, outside if he knew, saw anything vis-a-vis -vis Newton. I forgot to go stealth. And that's probably going to be a big problem. Um, Alright, so there's... Yeah, there's one of these bad guys here. Uh, I am going to just save it. And let's go ahead and use cryokinesis on this dude. Alright, that's the best way to start combat that I've seen. Um, we actually really, really hurt it. Okay, so that was outrageously good. Um, let me just end combat and pray that there's no more. And we did get a corpse this time, so there's at least something that we can salvage. Uh, so I'm gonna save it after such an easy victory. And move over. Praying for oddities, right? And go on stealth. And what do we get? A Psy Beetle Carapace, which is a component. Um, and you need 16 mechanics to use it, but maybe I can sell it, right? So let me just keep going stealth. And uh oh, there's some blood over here. So that looks like probably. Newton's demise uh, is over there. So let me see if I can get this guy with my cryokinesis. Try again. Yeah, see, this is not a young Ezra die. This is a fully grown one. And so he's like extra difficult. All right, so that actually stunned him. So that's pretty tremendous. So let's just end the turn. And then I can use a Psy Booster and blast away and pray that this does enough damage. Oof, okay. Fate was on our side that time, and we did win. So I'm going to enter and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and save it. This is such a hard game. It's fun, though. I really like hard games. I, If I have to re-roll, so be it. I'll do so and make a more responsible character. Um, this guy didn't drop any stuff, which stinks. Um, what is this? 
Ooh, it's an oddity. Oh my god, thank you. One more, and I can actually get some new Psy abilities, which might turn the tide. Okay, a bottle. Barrel. Oh my god, it's another oddity. Oh, thank the maker. Let's do a good job with this level, shall we? Alright. So we have 40 points. So, we need to get our metathermics as high as it will let us go. And 25 is as high as it's going to let us go. Um, and then, dot control all the way up. I'm going to try to focus on these two schools. Maybe build into this later. But anyway. Um, okay, so here we go. We want to have... Um, stealth to be good, right? And let's get into throwing a little bit. I'm going to put 10 points into throwing. I'm going to put um, some points into lockpicking as well. And then, as far as crafting, um, I have all these points in, you know, mechanics and these technology things. Um, I'm going to build up chemistry. I really need to be able to make my own potions for my psionics. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And then let's go full. I'm going to go more into throwing and just really, really commit to that. Do I have a feat? No. Okay. I'm going to accept. Um, and so we leveled up, and if I look at myself, um, I do have more, you know, health and everything, so that's really, really strong. And then if I look at, like, I don't know, uh, crafting, um, Various useful chemicals can be extracted from plants and mushrooms. So let me say, for example, like I go into my crafting menu and I just take out um, like mushrooms. No, these aren't mushrooms. Um, yeah, lake mushrooms. Nah, but none of these will work. Do I have anything that I can use? I have I have an ampule, but I don't think I... It looks like I have no plants or mushrooms that are usable here and that's a shame but okay fine let's look through the rest of this stuff and see if there's anything good no I'm gonna take a mine shroom for sure junk pile dirty rag well whatever take everything barrel Another dirty rag, okay. Lake mushrooms. What is this? I need to read this sign to see what this even is. Southgate Station. Oh, this is like from the boat side. Interesting. Junkyard, alright. Well, I know I can go back and, at the very least, get some new spells, some new psionic abilities. So that's very tempting. Alright, so let me um, save it and go stealth. Where am I on the map? I'm currently here. And this says it's going to take me back to Southgate Station, but it's in a different way that I've ever seen before. So, we'll keep going. There's a crevice, which I assume hoppers are just going to... Oh, boy. All right, so there's two of the big boys over here, and that might make it so I can't handle this at all. But I did put points into stealth for this very reason, to go this way. Um, hmm. 
That is really funky. I tried to use my ability and somehow they saw me first and then came out at me. I mean, whatever. But I can kill them pretty soundly. Oh my god, look at how much damage I just did. Uh, let's go this way. I really, really hope that these Azura dies don't add on, but it's fine. I'm actually not going to go anywhere. I'm going like, to go over here, to be honest. I'll take the damage from this guy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's the alpha. I was like, why is this guy all special? Oh, because he's the alpha, of course, right? Um, all right, let me just use this then. Let's try to stun him with telekinetic punch. Uh, he, of course, resisted it, which is mortifying. Um, how much health do I have left? I have like 44. I could probably survive. Maybe not. I saved it. If I don't make it, I don't make it. Um, God, this guy has a whopper of hit points. Um, Alright, so I didn't die, but I'm really close. So we'll use our health refiller. And um, I guess I blast him with this. And then I can't really use any of my consumables at the moment because I've used them. There's two turn cooldown on Psy Boost. Um, so I need to, like, you know, use action points and probably run away. I could try to, like, shoot it, right? Not enough action points. Okay, no, I can't shoot it. Alright, then let's just go over here. Alright, we need some big hits with our cryokinesis. Not bad, and he's chilled, so maybe he can't follow us. We can shoot him, uh, but it seems pointless. It's going to do, like, absolutely nothing. Um, let's run. Or try to run, like, over here. And pray that no, um, as zero dies, get on us. Alright, so him being chilled has actually really paid off big time. Alright, we almost have this guy. So I'm going to continue to just make my getaway over here. And then hopefully I'll get enough reserves to kill him next turn. No, but I can use a side booster. And finish him off. Goodness gracious, what a jerk. Um, let's end combat. Let's pick up the remains. Large intestine and adrenal gland, whatever. Um, and then let's just try to go down here. Let's see if there's any more remains. There really aren't. Um, I'm going to save it, but in a new place. just because I don't want to get stuck out here, you know what I mean? Um, I'm really, really low. I can use an inhaler uh, to get my reserves back, but I hate to do that. It sucks. It's like you can't use it in combat. It's so brutal in that way. 